so good afternoon. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be here today with uh, engineer uh, Khalil Bedarnet, uh, who is uh, from Jordan, who has just defended uh, his master thesis uh, inside our specializing master contract claim in delay management in construction works. Uh, uh, his thesis is titled um, uh, Case Studies uh, for Contractor Evaluation for Extension of Time Entitlement. And we are with Khalil uh, today to know something about his experience uh, in this specializing master. So uh, my name is Khalil. Uh, I was born and raised in UAE. I worked there for almost 10 years. So I had a background of contracts when I was working there as a project engineer. Um, I took this course because I wanted to have more information about the contract uh, and uh, extension of time and delay management. So I attended this course. It's uh, detailed, thorough. You can grasp all the information you need, even though uh, it's not just it's uh, theoretical. Also, you are part of the internship where we can learn even more and more. Uh, <laughs> Basically, the master covers all the cases in case uh, FedEx box, uh, British uh, or civil law, or also um, civil law, basically, and common law as well, in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So you get all the information you need, starting with FedEx, international common law, and civil law. Mm -hmm. Also, there are some case studies that you have been uh, given and you have to read them and check them all. Some of them I never experienced before in my 10 years experience, which gave me an insight how to deal with them if I face the same in the future. <laughs> so um, based on what I learned in this master, I incorporated them in my uh, internship. Mm -hmm. and as you can see, this is my presentation. Mm -hmm. And the most common one I like most is late handover of zones to the contractor. So we can give a brief of these. And um, so we have three delay events, which were major ones that the contractor suffered. <laughs> so um, as we can see here, where the contractor planned his activities to proceed with the work. So Khalil, uh, you, you performed uh, a delay analysis. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, for your master. Yes, exactly. Uh, if, um, so what I, I learned from the master, I uh, put it here. So here an example where the contractor was planning to proceed. However, these did not achieve the date by the employer. So this is a delay here recorded. And we kept recording the delays in these cases where the contractor had to shift the program and recorded the delays as well. Also, we have another situation where the contractor planned his activities to proceed, but since the client didn't hand over the areas fully, we also suffered another delay where we will we'll learn how to proceed to process this information in the master course. So also here we have a delay where recorded. Also another case where the uh, we had a to be handed over these areas, but the client failed as well to provide them. So you have to go through FedEx book, which type of the contract you're going to use. And from there, you can incorporate and take which clauses that are applicable for <laughs> this, uh, which were uh, delay when the contractor notify a delay, has to record the delays. Mm -hmm. And this is basically a summary of the my, my thesis and how from the master course, I learned to proceed uh, effectively and with full knowledge. Thank, thank you very much. Just for uh, people, uh, uh, for future students uh, who might be interested in understanding uh, what these master theses are about, uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, who don't know anything, uh, anything about your master thesis, uh, uh, which kind of projects are we talking about uh, and where are they located? Uh, it's an EPC project. Uh, it's located in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, to be specific, Nigeria mm -hmm. and Laos, mm -hmm. and where the contractor had to uh, to uh, 
to revamp the existing plants <laughs> to, to the latest version of uh, new technologies and stuff to achieve higher efficiency of the plants. <laughs> so that was the project. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Khalil. Thank you. Uh, I know that uh, after ending your internship in Technimont, uh, uh, you were employed by them. Uh, yes, uh, therefore, yeah. it means that they uh, really uh, uh, thought that your uh, uh, contribution and your work during the internship uh, was very valuable. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, also thanks to, to the information and the, <laughs> the, the tools, the professional tools that this master has tried yes, to, exactly. to provide. And of course, uh, my, my wish to you is that uh, they might go on being uh, uh, useful for your uh, professional career in the future. Yes, and thank you very much, Mr. Giovanni, for the opportunity and the chance to attend this course. It's, it's, it has been a pleasure. Uh, and keep in touch and take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm.